We are a straight line from training and educating first responders to the health and safety of this community. You can still do what you love to do, but in a very safer way. You know, not every death is preventable, but they're doing a good job of stopping it in its tracks. The work and conditions firefighters face are both extremely complex and hazardous, with the leading causes of injury and death being directly related to heat, physical stress, and chemical exposure. Through research and training, the Illinois Fire Service Institute at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign is driving awareness and change with tools and procedures that is reducing the risk of future health concerns. The importance of protection and prevention is magnified to the extreme when it comes to firefighters and first responders. The intensity of the job requires extraordinary training. We train 60,000 plus firefighters in a given year, half a million student hours. The mission is to help them safely do their work through training, education, information, and research, components that directly impact the safety equipment the PPE firefighters depend on. Those are four pillars of what we do here. While it, it wouldn't be wrong to say that a good 80%, 85% of what we do involves delivering hands-on training and education, research and information are an essential component of what we do. Research is helping battle the two leading health hazards facing men and women in the fire service. The two leading causes of firefighter line of duty deaths are in the acute term, cardiac events, heart attacks, strokes, things that occur as a result of firefighting and in the 24 hours after an incident. In the long term, uh, our exposure to carcinogenic uh, byproducts of combustion can lead to cancer diagnoses. Among firefighters, every type of cancer is increased. Scientists look at each carcinogen and how it's exposed to the body and the role of the PPE keeping those compounds off the skin. They can get um, exposed to volatile compounds such as benzene, to lead, hydrogen cyanide. In the products that are burning, electronics, these are producing different chemical compounds that we did not have experience with before. Within five minutes, we can have him out of a training evolution and into our facility drawing blood, saliva, urine, taking swabs of his sweat, all those kinds of things to be able to track the chemical exposures and things of that nature that are an absolutely uh, direct link to their health and safety as it relates to cancer and other toxic environment things that they find on the fire ground. New tools and procedures are helping reduce chemical exposure, and that includes new standards in washing and the removal of safety gear. One of the things is their gloves. So how do you take these gloves off so your hand doesn't get exposed to the carcinogens that there are. And with just a very simple instruction, you can reduce this exposure to carcinogens to 80% reduction. Their cancer levels will drop, right? It's got to happen. If they're cleaning themselves before they leave, before they get back in the truck, before they get back to the station, and most importantly, before they get back to their families. Research surrounding chemical exposures focuses on the path of contaminants from the fire environment onto the protective equipment and into the firefighter and it, their impact on different physiological systems such as cardiovascular system, muscle system, immune system, reproductive system, how they are being affected by it. Data-driven information is applied to training along with protocols and techniques for workplaces right now. We're able to take issues that we see as part of the fire service, address those with our research questions, bring data to experiences that firefighters have seen, have gone through, put science behind that, and then put that back in the firefighters' hands. It's protection through the research and education and how proper use of gear is as life-saving as the gear itself. They care. It's not just a scientific research thing. It, watching them, they care about the firefighters in Illinois. Everybody needs to chime in. Everybody needs to come together as an interdisciplinary team to keep this um, occupation safe. A coordinated approach, sharing, collaborating, and distributing safety standards with career and volunteer firefighters and first responders. That is a standard that we start locally, and then we go statewide, and then we go nationwide, and then we go international, global. Training is safety. Research relates to safety. 
people going home. Whether you're the first responder or the citizen, that's the bottom line. The intersection of research and training is fundamental in protecting firefighters and helping them do their work even more effectively. It's improving standards, informing new procedures, and advancing the development of safety equipment.